I'm Tom from Tom Miggett Photography and welcome to another episode of Tip of the Day. A short video of two, three minutes where I show you a feature inside Adobe Lightroom or Photoshop that's going to save your life. So they said. So today I'm taking you to Lightroom. You know that the most basic action that we take inside Lightroom once we have imported our photos is to cull them. By culling them I'm referring to the process of defining which one are the keepers and which one are the rejects. To do that, well, we have three tools at our disposal, the flag, the rating with the stars or the color label. If you want to know what I'm talking about, I invite you to go check the photo menu. It's accessible whatever module you're in inside Lightroom. And look, you can set the flag, the rating and the color label and you notice the shortcuts as well. Well, the tip of the day is not about using those. It's about how you move on from one image to the other when you go through this process of uh, marking them, whether it's a flag, a color label or a star. By default, let's imagine the, the, the image 90 here. It's um, actually, there's already one, uh, one star, but let's imagine I want to give it two stars. So I'm going to press on the two key and now I give it two stars. Well, I want to move on to the next image. So to do that, I will either use my mouse or use the arrow keys on your keyboard. So it's quite annoying. So if you want something more automatic, uh, there is a feature inside Lightroom and it's called Auto Advance. And there's different ways of accessing it. The first way you can do it, uh, if you want to have it temporarily, is to uh, press and hold the shift key while you apply the keyboard shortcut uh, for that particular image. So 91, uh, it's actually worse than the, 90, than the image 90, but let's imagine I wanna give it a color and I'm gonna give it a, a color yellow and the shortcut is seven. So I'm gonna press and hold the shift key, which is the arrow that goes up, and I'm gonna press the seven key at the same time. Look what happened. I, I basically color label with yellow that 91 image and I moved on to 92. If you like this um, effect of going automatically to the next one, you can actually enable this feature for good. In that case, you just need to go to the photo menu at the top and click the auto advance. Sometimes it's quite annoying, I must admit, to have this feature on all the time. So what I like to do instead, when I really want to use it, so uh, let me disable it, is to actually use a caps lock on your keyboard. So this is the key where when you press on it, usually you have some kind of a warning, a little light switch on. Well, so you press on it and now this feature is actually enabled. Look at the menu, auto advance. But, so 92, if I want to rate it, I'm going to give it another color, green. So I press eight, it automatically moved on to 93. Now I don't want to use it anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press again, disabling the cap lock. And if we check the photo menu, you can see the auto advance is unchecked. So now it works just by default. And now I'm going to put it a flag. So reject, for example, and X, and that's it. So this was the tip of the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and let me know in the comment if you have any question. And don't forget a thumb. I'm obsessed with the thumb. So until next time, this is Tommy Good saying, if you like it, well, capture it. Cheers.